We're at the final part of 15.1. This is NPR, the permutations of n objects, taken r at a time, without repetition. 15.1d is our lesson number, and that means we have three previous videos for this lesson. If you become lost or confused, it's because you missed those three previous videos. Just click in the description, and it'll take you to them. Here are seven letters of the alphabet. How many ways can we construct an ordered subset having three members? So we only need three members. We can select the first member for our subset in seven ways. We could choose any one of these seven. There'll be six choices for the second member, then five choices for the third member. By the fundamental counting principle, there are seven times six times five ways to construct our subset this means there's seven times six times five permutations of a set of seven objects taken three at a time. We have seven times six times five. We can say it equals seven times six times five times four factorial over four factorial. It's seven factorial over four factorial. And this brings us to another theorem, and I'll explain this further. The number of permutations of a set of n objects taken r at a time, denoted by npr, is given by this formula. We read this as the permutations of n objects taken r at a time is equal to the quotient of n factorial and n minus r factorial. This theorem is a direct result of the fundamental counting theorem. We talked about the fundamental counting principle in 15.1a. Each permutation is an ordered arrangement of r objects taken from the set of n objects. So here we have 7p3. We can write this as 7 factorial over 7 minus 3 factorial. That's 7 factorial over 4 factorial, isn't it? And we can expand this 7 factorial and rewrite it with a factor of 4 factorial. We learned about that in video 15.1c.